Well, you've worked with many directors uh, who are not French, um, including uh, Austrian Michael Haneke, um, and the piano teacher, uh, as I said before, is just magnificent, incredible performance. How did you prepare for that role um, of this very disturbed uh, perfectionist? Oh, I didn't really prepare, actually. Uh, when, um, when Michael, well, with Michael Haneke, we started by not doing a film together, which was a good start. I mean, before the piano teacher, he offered me to do funny games, which I turned down. I thought, uh, compared to funny games, uh, um, the piano teacher was a nice soap opera, if I can say so. <laughs> so, uh, funny games was really an experiment on how the violence operates on the spectator, and uh, and it and and the. There was no fiction. The, the, it was completely dry. And when I read the script, I was I couldn't do it. So and Suzanne Lothar uh, did it magnificently. Um, um, so that was the first uh, f missed encounter between Michael Hanuk and myself. And then eventually he asked me to do the Time of the Wolf, which we did after the piano teacher. But at the time I couldn't do it. And then and then finally came the piano teacher. So that was at least. F four or five years uh, after he offered uh, me to work with him for the first time, which I really always liked, you know, because that's completely typical of Michael Haneke, you know. He doesn't have any affective reaction or negative reaction to that, you know. He's, he kept asking me to, to, to work with him. And so he came to me with the piano teacher and he said, uh, if you don't want to do it, I'll, 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 I won't do it with anybody else, which of course I tried to admit to do it immediately. And I vaguely read the script. I said, OK, it will be good, Michael. I will do it anyway. Then when I was on the plane, I really read the script. And I thought, oh my god. And, but it was too late, because I was on the plane already. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> and, so and so I did it. And um, um, I've always a little uh, reluctance to answer a question like, how did you prepare? I do believe, it's not that I, I skipped the, the answer, or, but I do believe that there is no uh, preparation when you decide to do a role, something grows within yourself. I don't know, it's, it's a very mental process. It's like this other person that you are going to be acting uh, for a week. It starts to grow in yourself. It's like a, a, a presence within yourself. And, and that's, that's the other person. I, I don't like to say character. I never like to use that word. I think a character is very arbitrary. A character, by definition, does not exist. So I'd rather say I play another person, which happens to be me at the end of the day. But a character, I don't know, it's still, it belongs to fiction. And my obsession as an actress was never to, to, be, to, to, to do fiction. It was to do reality. As, well, of course, it takes place in a fiction. I mean, I know that. But to be as close to reality as possible. Um, but the whole um, journey with Michael Anuka has been, I mean, he's really, I mean, I, I keep saying that about all the directors I've been working with. He's I've a great director. He's, he's an immense director. He's really, really good. I just finished this other film with him called Happy End, which is going to be released soon. And uh, the other day I was, I was doing uh, the, the dubbing, the post, the, the looping. And um, he showed me one scene that we did at the film. And I was really, I thought, you know, I, it was just one scene, it was the, not the whole film. I was, and then I watched that scene, it's a very long scene, like eight minutes scene between me and my son in the film. And I watched the scene, I thought, oh my God, he's so, he's such an amazing director, because it was, you know, the camera doesn't move, it's still, it's, it goes on and on and on. And, uh, and I, I watched the scene, I, th I thought, it's a mystery. Why is it so impressive? Why it's so? It's the frame. He's obsessed with the good frame, with the good placement of the camera. There is no camera movements. There is nothing. It's just, and it's just amazing. And it's it's almost a well, it's not a mystery. But then you wonder, say, that's what a great director is. <laughs>